Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Makina Lady Riders of the World. Laks na ulan. Kaya tayo na kochin na yung dami yung dalang gamit. Anyway, anybody who guests in Makina Lady Riders of the World, they are special in their own right. I mean, at least to my eyes, meron silang na-achieve, meron silang i-co-contribute sa industriya ng motor. Our next guest, she grew up on motorsports. Diba? Her father is is a famous rider and syempre gusto ko rin pag-usapan yung tatay niya but I wanna save that for another episode kasi itong episode na to this is gonna be about her and we're, we're gonna find out how she can see I mean how is it like to grow up with a with a father like that you'll, you'll see what I mean when we get into this video so again welcome to Makina Lady Riders of the World brought to us by Havoline Havoline Ride Strong this folks is Janelle Saulo check it out Heck up I'm straight Her enough Oh, say, say, say Oh, say, say, say Oh, say, say, say Oh, say, say Good morning, Janelle. Thank you so much for taking time out. Welcome to Malratwa. Thank you, sir, for having me. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up with the motorcycles. What was your first joke? What was your first joke? Do you remember any of that? Based on story, of course, I don't know. Maybe two or three months, maybe. Wow. <laughs> Dinadala na ako ng race track kasi my dad was really active at the time. So, um, nandun siya talaga sa top peak niya. My mom was supporting him and pagkapanganak namin ng sister ko din, ang kwento talaga sa amin na after a few months, hindi na hinintay na matagal, dinadala na talaga kami sa race track kasi wala namang ibang magbabantay. <laughs> so, when I grew up, nagkaroon ng motorcycle shop yung parents ko. And uh, when they opened it, nagkaroon sila ng 50cc bike which was my first bike. So yung first bike na yun, pambenta. Na hindi na nila nabenta. <laughs> Kasi nung pinatry yun sa akin, nasabi sa akin ng dad ko, sige, try mo nga. Um, hindi ako nagtry ng bike, ng bike, diretso sa motor. And oh. nagustuhan ko. So nung nagustuhan ko, ayaw na... Ilan ka nun? Um, four. Ayaw ko daw bumaba, so nag-end up, hindi na nila nabenta yung ah, okay. motor. Siyempre, Naging investment na sa akin. <laughs> priority na, ay gusto niya, nako. Mm. Sa akin And na muna siyempre, yan, in, in my dad's end, nung nakita niya yun, na parang gusto niya, natuwa din siya. Kasi two girls kami, and uh, siyempre, expectations, lalaki dapat yung parang susunod sa yapak niya. Pero since two girls kami, tapos nagustuhan ko, naging masaya naman siya. I, I don't remember it in a way. Madiang, pero madiang dahil consistent yung kwento nila, I remember it. So never mo naramdaman na parang since napaka-accessible lang motor sa yun, did you ever take it for granted na? Diyan lang naman yan, I mean. Or did, um, did you ever find yourself doing other hobbies na nainteresan mo? Or? I actually stopped for a few years nung high school. I was a tennis varsity then sa CSA. Wow! And I also went into swimming when I was in grade school. So I did a lot of other sports then talaga. Ayoko lang walang ginagawa eh. So parang I tried everything. So nung naghuminto ako, hindi ko naman siya sobrang hinanap na hinanap. Pero it was there. I know it was there. Mm -hmm. So nung nagkaroon ng ladies class sa motocross, yung biglang nagkaroon ng ladies class yung series ng um, taon, pinasok ako ni dad. At least kahit pa paano, hindi na po malalaki. Hindi, na, hindi siya na babother na lalaki na yung mga, malal malalaking lalaki na yung mga kalaban ko na may chances na nababanggain ako or anything ni ganun. So, since po babae kami, sabi niya, try ko ulit. Kung magustuhan ko ulit, eh, which. Yan, ito na nga. Nandito na nga tayo. So, since then, tuloy-tuloy na ulit. Okay, that's great. Between four years old and now, what was it like? Ano yung mga turo sa ng ng papa mo? And how do you differentiate yung daddy versus coach? Kay daddy, actually, pag tinanong mo siya, sabihin niyang he never niya akong tinuruan. Yun ang sasabihin <laughs> niya. Kasi in reality, syempre yung kusa lang na, um, yung natural lang na lumalabas na parang, oh, ganito, gawin mo ganyan. Ganun lang yung pagkasabi niya. Not really yung sa ngayon, na syempre coach na talaga siya kasi mayroon na siyang school. Iba na yung pagtuturo niya eh. Mema mm. ng terms, mema ng way, mema ng iba-iba. Yun sa akin, parang natural lang lumabas. So, pag may questions ako, nagtatanong lang ako na parang, ganito ba yan? Ganito ba gagawin ko dito? Natama ba tong ginawa ko dito? Or ganyan. Or minsan ako correct niya na, huwag ka na dumaan dun. Ganito, ganito gawin mo. Ganun lang. Simpleng ganun. Hindi ka tulad talaga ng ibang mga riders niya ngayon na talagang uupuan niya na sabihin niya, Paano mo tinitira to? Explain mo sa akin kung paano ginagawa. Ganyan, 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 ganyan. Para ma-correct natin kung anong gagawin. So parang may process na. Yung sa amin, wala. As in, it just comes naturally. Saka you see him all the time. So I guess yeah. you have the learnings na you have the benefit of, of course, seeing your father. Kailan mo unang naranasan yung takot? 
Kasi there's no fear when you're a child, di ba? But yes. papasok ang takot pag nasaktan ka na eh. Yes. Or pag siyempre lang. Yes, what, what so honestly, it just started last year. No, sumakit na yung tuhod ko. <laughs> oh no. So, I that guess... That means you've been training a lot and hard. Well, it's not really... I, I don't train a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is um, the number one sadness of my father. No, okay. Na sinasabi, practice ka naman. Ayaw mo kasi mag-practice. Gagawa mong practice yung karera. Sinasabi ko sa kanya, eh, di ba yun, enjoy na lang natin. Di ba yun na usapan natin uh-huh, uh-huh. So, bakit may pag-pressure na mag-practice? Pero, um, nung time kasi na yun, um, after pandemic, nung nag-start na maging open lahat, Tuloy-tuloy na ulit yung races eh. Bumalik na sa amin yung races. So, so tuhod ang tinamaan siya. But, tuhod. Any tinamaan accidents? Tinamaan. I mean, I saw, you know, kita tayo sa Honda, meron kang yeah, so battle scar. May <laughs> peklat ka sa elbow yeah, mo. What was that naman? Uh, this one was Kyle. just a slide practice pa lang. <laughs> Any broken bones ever? Ah, uh, no. No, yeah, wala. Okay. Yeah, so, ang pinaka-problem na talaga natin is yung tuhod na I think it's ACL, but we don't know. Okay, okay. I mean, if you're varsity tennis, or you to get to varsity level, yung yung level ng practice is iba din yes. sa school. And you're already admitting it, you're not practicing as much as you <laughs> yes. should. Bakit kaya ganun? I mean, you came from a, an diba, athlete level training ng tennis, mm-hmm. pero sa motor, ma- medyo chill ka. What's, mm-hmm. what's your thought behind I that? I feel like it's it's been part of me na... I don't push myself too much because yun I don't yun sinasabi ko kasi bata pa lang nandyan eh. <laughs> eh well yeah kasi so I don't push myself too much just because I know na this is not the, my number one priority in reality of life this is what you do okay um, people are doing it for a living but um, at the end of the day when all of this is gone, what will you do, di ba? Mm, na parang, uh, you should have your backup. Um, backup. You don't know kung anong setback yung mapating natin. Saka, eh. so, do, do you like doing what you can? You can yeah, do. exactly. I, I always say that, na parang, why, why am I here? I'm the oldest women ngayon sa Pilipinas na nagmamotocross. So, in my defense, na sinasabi ko na, ako na pinamatanda. So, Ano pang ipaglalabang ko sa inyo? Eh, mabilis talaga kayo mga bata eh. So, ganun lang. Napamang ako, at least, I love what I'm doing. I'm doing what I love. And I get to do it. Yun yes, lang, di ba? Na parang, yeah. I get to inspire other people. Mm-hmm. I get to see the whole Philippines or mm-hmm. even other countries because of the sport. So, as long as I can, I'm gonna do it. So, tinatalong nila, kailan ka mag-retire? Parang ako, I don't know. <laughs> Grabe naman yung mga... As long as I can. Sabi ko, as long as I can, <laughs> yun, yun, pero yun talaga yung sagot ko. Na parang, as long as I can, bakit ako mag-retire? At yeah. your own terms, you're, the important thing, you are doing it. I think yes. that's, that's the important thing. Yes, I think it's important for yourself then. Mental health mo na din, na mm-hmm. if you want to do it, tapos pag hindi mo magawa, di ba? Paano mababaliw ka pag hindi oh, mo magawa yun? Sa dulo ang pagsisisi. Gusto mo, yeah. Medyo, hindi ko na magawa. Bakit? Yeah, di ba? So, as long as kaya ko, kahit masakit yung tuhod, game. <laughs> <laughs> do you ride on a daily basis or is it purely sports? Do you go around groceries or kailangan mo umikot? No, I don't have a road bike. Ah, Talagang purely off-road lang ako. My is only bike safer. is my own bike. I mean, mas safe pa nga yung sa truck tsaka sa yes. off-road. You know, well, yung... takot ako talaga sa kalye. Kinakapatid ko sila Buncho sisters. So, mm-hmm. with them, lagi kong sinasabi na kaya niya na yan. Pag ako sumip lang ako, malambot-lambot yung lupa eh. Sa inyo, hindi. <laughs> Di ba? Napa pa ako asfalto, hindi. Pero at least Ate Des transformed na into um, trail riding, yeah, which is trail riding. she understands na napapang sabi niya, okay lang matumbam, hindi naman ganun ka sakit talaga as in same nung asphalt mm-hmm. na Yak. <laughs> Magaling kayo, idol ko kayo. Just because na hindi ko kasi kaya yan. Takot ako sa pag sumemplang ako ang sakit. Hindi mo naman masasabi. Siyempre, ayaw natin sumemplang. Pero yeah. when it happens, okay na ako sa hindi ako masakta. <laughs> what I like about off-road, after a good session sa off-road, kasi pagdating mo on-road, I don't know, mas magaling ka eh. Mas, ako <laughs> nag-feeling-feeling feeling ako lalo pag on-road. After off-road, my braking is later. I'm just feeling more confident yeah. na hindi mawawali. Pwede dumaan sa lubak. <laughs> oh, oh, alam mo nang gagawin eh, di ba? What are you into apart from from bikes? First, I'm a virtual assistant, so I can do anything everywhere. Oh. So, this job and um, this sport together is a good combination. So, anywhere I go, walang problema. I'll just bring my laptop, computer, everywhere. Okay. Virtual assistant covers social media management, um, covers email management, basically, everything that can be done online f- with the client, ako na lang gumagawa on their behalf to get things off their hands. Wow. Yeah. 
yeah. okay you're currently competing you've been doing your thing so what are, what are the plans what are, what are you excited about in the next few months or the next year um, in a few months to? I'm excited na and daming races ngayon so yeah it's been good and syempre blessings yung races eh. so we accept it next year um, continue pa rin for sure thank you to my sponsors Honda Philippines of course for my bike Fox Racing Philippines for always being there and believing in me still Neos Philippines for being part of my new journey JMS Motocross School of course baka magalit sa akin dad ko pag hindi ko siya sinabi <laughs> Man of Steel Photography Rudy Project sa lahat ng sponsors I really just wanna thank you all for believing in me and inspiring me to keep doing this so isa kayo sa nagpapastay talaga sa akin that's one of the reasons talaga is there a dream destination pala or dream race you wanna attend to um yeah i've been to races in um, the us hindi naman siya yung mga big leagues what i really want to try yung try lang talaga na hindi ko kailangang ano basta kahit makaikot lang ako sa track yun lang is a super cross track Oh. Big league eh. So parang I just wanna try na Kasi yung mga motocross tracks is always open To everybody So makapupunta ka doon, makakapunta ka, makakaikot ka Pero the supercross tracks is different every year It's built every leg So gusto ko lang experience to ride on in one In one supercross race, yun lang Kahit hindi, hindi ako sumali Well I'm sure, <laughs> keep at it We're rooting for you, you know? <laughs> Lastly, what advice can we give For other female riders out there? So my only advice since before Never um, be afraid to try Bata pa lang ako Nabinig ko sa isang interview Na sinabi ko Siyempre Doon ko lang din naalala <laughs> Na sinabi ko talaga Don't be afraid to try Parang You'll never know Kung magugustuhan mo Kung hindi di Go Gawa ka na iba Take the chance To try Because not everybody Has the chance to So if you can If you want Go for it And to the parents Support <laughs> <laughs> so hindi lang dapat para sa mga babae pero syempre sa parents nila support, support. your kids support kasi iba yung gawin nila motor na lang <laughs> okay thank you so much good luck with your future races you know thank you thank you pack up i'm straight her love oh say 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 wait hey i love you like i love you